Bismillah Rahman Rahim. It's indeed a big privilege and uh, and a pleasure to be in Tata. Every time I come here, it feels like coming home. And I'm really, truly admire uh, Mr. Wazir Qureshi's efforts. Because in a, in a city like Tata, which happens to be quite off the track, off the beaten track, and far away, I, I, I mean physically it's not far off, but in terms of social cultural development, I would still say that Tata, despite all efforts by government ministers and by government functionaries, it still does not enjoy that pace of develop, rapid development when we compare it to the other districts of province of Sindh. So when I see here, when, whenever I come here, this is, I think, I believe my seventh or eighth visit in a row in two years' time. And every time I come here, I see a galaxy, a gathering, a crowd of around 70 to 80 students at certain times. The number of participant students rising to hundreds. They await my arrival so very passionately, so overwhelmingly, and so very anxious, enthusiastic to learn. And I wonder, how come I'm in Tata? Because normally we university professor, as you know, I teach at the Institute of English Language and Literature. So there, I mean, our life is almost active, very busy. But it's all because of the insistence of Mr. Vazi, his devotion to his institute, his center, and his, I mean, say his dedication. When I look at it, I simply cannot bring myself to refuse it. And I somehow squeeze time out. Whatever, I mean, however busy I may be, but I always manage to squeeze some time out, come here, and when I see that joy, that gratitude, I written laws in the eyes of these participants and youth of Tata, when I see that I'm a cause for a change in their lives, and even today, see, speaking skills is one thing, language skills are other, but I would quote three, three of my presentations here, which will go a long way in bringing about a significant change in the lives of these students. One was uh, uh, my, my session with them on career counseling, on how exactly what can kind of careers they, they pursue. And next one was on how to write CVs and covering letters and how to apply for jobs. And the third one is this today on oral communication and presentation skills. All such themes happen to be the survival themes. And our youth needs uh, deliberations and insights on such themes, I mean, I say more than they have ever needed in this modern era, challenging era of high cutthroat competition in the world. We live in highly competitive world and we either develop all these skills or we perish. So I would express in the end my heartfelt gratitude and deep sense of satisfaction and individual joy for Mr. Wazir, for all the students of Chatta, they are all my heart throbs, they are all apples of my eye. I always enjoy my stay here and I will tell them that our relationship still goes a long way in the future. And here I must also thank my colleagues, my friends, my big support, Mr. Raftar Bhandacharan and Mr. Tariq Hayat Lashari, two excellent young men who work in Kareem College Pital. They have been my biggest motivation, they are my inspiration, though they are younger than me, but honestly speaking, I have been learning a lot from them. So thank you very much and may Allah bless Thakta, Wazir's Academy, Zandabad, Pakistan, final. It has been uh, an honor, a privilege to be in Thakta and to attend such a wonderful uh, gathering where students from Tata, from all corners of Tata, come to learn, to quench the thirst of knowledge. And it was a wonderful experience to see that Sir, how Sir Vazir has managed to gather those pearls and, and he is providing them best education, best services ever in the history of Tata. And these students need that such kind of effort which Sir Vazir has been putting I must uh, thank to uh, the glorious uh, Sir Ghulam uh, Ali, who has been kind enough to spend some, some of his time to come over here and to teach them, to impart them the quality, knowledge, and the way he's been interacting with them is uh, extremely wonderful. 
and uh, best of luck to Service News Academy. It's really wonderful to be here. Okay. I'm announcing the numbers.